All right, so we're going to grab some footage off of this camera and show you the process on how to bring it into your folder here. Okay, um, We need to go grab a USB cable that's going to plug into the camera, which is right here. All right. They can be found. There's a box back here. First of all, I'll teach you how to open a cabinet. Everybody look at <laughs> David, get your group to look over here. All right. So a lot of you guys are left brain people. So you're going to go to the left side. And you're going to say, Mr. Tauchi, Mr. Mathis, this is locked. Can you open it for us? Okay. So you open the right side first. This one has a little latch behind it. A little latchy latch latch. Okay. And then there's a box right here. It says USB extension cables. All right. So there we go. We're going to grab those. And then you can shut these. And we're going to walk back over here. So we're going to post this on Schoology. So when you like don't know how to bring in footage, we'll say, it's on Schoology. Hi, Schoology. What's up? All right. We've got our USB. So on the side of the camera, there's a little USB that's plugged in, and we're going to unplug that. It's right there. And then there is a receiving receptacle, which is right here. We're going to connect these two together. Can you, shut, can you stop uh, editing, please? Thanks. So we're going to connect these two together. So we've just made it a longer cable. So you, you want to do that. You don't want to just connect it from the little tiny cable to the computer. Then we're going to plug this into the actual front of the computer. <coughs> plug in, unplug that. There are four USB slots on the, on the front of the camera. Um, Gabe, do you want to turn the lights full blast, please? Hit the top one. Top one. There you go. Uh, there's four USB. We're going to plug it into any one of them. And then we have to turn the, the camera on, pull the LCD panel out. There we go. And then we're going to get two options. One says USB connect, one says disk burn. So guess which one we're going to hit? We, do, we don't want to burn a disk. We want to do a USB connect. So touch screen, we'll hit USB connect. The camera is going to connect to the, the computer. Now you can set your, your camera aside. All right, so the computer has found the camera. However, this is the wrong window. We, there's, this Mac module, PMBP, Win module, auto run, PM. We don't need any of these, okay? The one that we do want to get is it's uh, USB drive D, which is right here. And then it should say AVCHD and DCIM. And then we're going to go to our AVCHD, BDMV, and we're going to click on uh, stream. So these are all of the clips that are on this camera that's plugged into the computer. These uh, blue ones right here, do not, do not pull these into your computer. It will crash your computer. You do not want to pull these little blue, little eye icons. They're, they're Adobe Prelude XMP files. You don't want that. You only want to grab these ones with the, the little yellow safety cones, okay? Any questions on that? Yellow safety cones. All right, so let's grab a file off of here. Looking for the date, maybe we'll do one from the other day. Before break, one was a three, three to one. Clipping weird. That was that that'll work. Two eight. We're gonna grab two eight uh, file two eight three. It's small enough, I believe. It's eighty kilobytes. That should be fine. All right. So two eight three, and then we want to bring two eight three into where our footage is stored. Okay. 
So we're going to go down to this magnifying glass. It says type here to search. If I click on that. I'm going to type in this PC. And we will click on that. Okay, so here's our, here's our little camera right here. And right here is where all of our footage is stored, video assets. That's what all of the drives are called. You don't want to put any footage on Windows C. You don't want to put any footage on DVD. You don't want to put it on, you don't want to put the footage back onto the camera because you're trying to get the footage off of the camera. Okay. Um, you also don't want to put it on your H drive. Your H drive will pop up when you log in. So the only place that you want to put footage is right here into Video Assets F. Uh, some of the computers it says Video Assets D. I think number one says Video Assets G. So just look for the one that says Video Assets, which is this one right here. So we're going to double click that one. And then when you and your group, or maybe it's just you by yourself, you've made a, a folder like Carl had a video project here. He made a folder. Uh, let's go back. Um, Halverson, Ethan Halverson made a folder. All of his stuff is in there. That's Bomber's Bundle stuff. Um, Julia Warner. So you guys all make your own folder and then you, you put your footage into that folder. So the one that we're working on right now is called Second Hour uh, Video One Raw Footage, Raw Commercial Footage, which is right here. So we'll double click this. And here's all of our footage for the commercial, all right? So we're going to add this 283 from the camera. We're just going to drag and drop it into this folder. And you'll see it copy. It's copying. It's copying. And there it is. So now 283 is now into your folder. So if we double click this, we can get it to play. This is from Video Scavenger Hunt, looks like. And walk back. All right. Another thing that you can do once it's in your folder where your your uh, raw footage, raw commercial footage is, you can rename this. And this shot would be called what? It would be head to toe, walk left, walk right. Enter. So now that shot has been saved, or it's been renamed. It doesn't say zero or zero eight three or whatever it was. Okay. So you can rename things. It kind of makes it a lot easier um, to edit. But do it before you edit. Do it before you bring everything into Premiere. Right. Because once you bring it into Premiere and then you rename it, then Premiere can't find your footage because it you changed the name of it. Any questions? No questions. At right. this point, if this was your only clip you needed, you could unplug the camera. Oh, actually, let's, um, before they unplug oh, the before camera, they unplug the camera. They should hit the X right there. So X, and it's going to say, disconnect from computer before exiting USB function. Ready to exit USB function? Question mark. You would hit yes, and it's just a touch screen, and then that that then one goes away. It. And then when you're done with the USB cable, you can take the USB cable and you can walk back over here, get your steps in on your Fitbit. Don't open up the left side because the left side doesn't open. You open up the right side, you find the box, fancy box right here, and you put that in for the next person to come in so that they can use it also. Okay. Perfect. Good deal. <coughs> Some people, what they'll do is when they when they plug in the camera to get the footage off of here, they don't open the. That wasn't I know. They don't open the LCD panel on the camera, and so they sit there and they wait and they wait and they wait and they wait for the camera or for the for the computer to find the camera, and so when the when the hey guys, when the cam, David. Yeah. When the camera stays shut like this. The computer can't find it. I know that. Okay. All right. Anything else? Nope. <coughs> That's all. Signing off.